All right, highly placed sources have been telling headlines today that the shape of the ministries will be clear by today evening. BJP is expected to send all portfolios to the president by tonight with the respective ministers being informed of their charges as well. Additional information that we're getting is that there could be 25 cabinet ministers, but the numbers could go up to 29 as well. Sources have also told headlines today that LK Advani may not be the speaker as is being speculated, he could get another high-ranking post instead. Nitin Gadkari could get the integrated transport ministry with the charge of railways, civil aviation, road transport and shipping. Sushma Swaraj may get either defence or external affairs ministry, fulfilling her wish for a CCS ministry. Rajnath Singh is uh, pipped for the home ministry, while Muli Manohar Joshi may get one of the top four cabinet berths. Aditi Anant Narayanan is now joining us with more details uh, from outside Gujarat Bhavan. Aditi, it appears that the shape of Modi's cabinet is uh, now coming into being, coming into form now. But tell us a little bit about the finance ministry, one of the top uh, portfolios and who is likely to get that. Any clarity at the moment? In fact, at this point of time, in all likelihood, Arun Jaitley might back the finance ministry. That is what the sources within the Bharti Janta Party are telling us. Sushma Swaraj has been confirmed that she will be a part of the CCS, which she wa always wanted to be. And uh, the two portfolios uh, that she could, one of the portfolios that she could get is either the MEA External Affairs Ministry or the Defence Ministry. At this point of time, it is also decided that Murli Manohar Joshi will also be a part of Narendra Modi's cabinet, but he will not be a part of the CCS which means that he will not bag one of the top four cabinet ministries in Modi's government. When it comes down to LK Advani Maha, uh, the situation is still unclear at this point of time. Many people within the Bharatiya Janata Party feel that the post of the Lok Sabha speaker is way beyond the stature of LK Advani and that is why he should be given okay. some high profile post. There right. are also a speculation that he might be given a post where he can be in touch with the BJP top brass and also with the NDA allies. So clearly by today evening everything will come into place in fact we're getting to know that the BJP top brass are going to send out uh, a, 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 a official message to all the cheer all the ministers who will be there in Modi's government by today evening to uh, make sure that they are well informed before the swearing in okay. ceremony tomorrow so Maha 25 cabinet ministries uh, is what we are expecting which could go up to 29 a small cabinet that Modi is preparing the final list will be prepared by today evening and everybody who will be a part of Modi's government, whether it's Arun Jaitley, Sushma Swaraj, LK Advani, Murli Manohar Joshi, all of them will be informed by later today evening, Maha. Brijesh Pandey, deputy editor, is also now joining us with more details. Brijesh, uh, Aditi was pointing out about LK Advani not perhaps getting the speaker's post. Is there more than meets the eye as far as uh, LK Advani not being able to make it as the speaker is concerned? Well, Maha, one thing is very clear as we have been pointing out since day one when the results were announced that the relationship between Lal Krishna Adwani and Murli Manohar Joshi uh, and I beg your pardon, Narendra Modi have been extremely fraught. And if you remember, right since the day when he was appointed as the prime ministerial candidate for the BJP, he had resigned from all the party posts and all. And even after the victory, which was which was a historic mandate for the Bharatiya Janata Party, initially uh, Lal Krishna Adwani was 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 less than accommodating in praising Narendra Modi, and he called it a victory of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Apart from it, one of the biggest problem which the Modi core group is facing is the stature of Lal Krishna Adwani, because you know he has been the he is the the person who's credited with taking the party from 2 to 184. He is the person who had been a deputy prime minister last, last time uh, in the last Vajpayee government. In 2009, he was the prime ministerial candidate and the Bharatiya Janata Party couldn't make it beyond 116. Okay. So his stature is such that any post uh, would be, you know, it will be very hard to fit him in, in Modi's current scheme of things. And given the fraught relationship, they are kind of trying to advise him and they are seeking very active help of RSS in this particular thing into placate him and make him see reason that you know that there won't be any post within the uh, within the cabinet or, okay. or, or within the broader structure of uh, of power which can be in commensurate with his stature and expectation so they are prevailing upon uh, leaning upon rss to make lal krishna advani see reason and say he takes some sort of a right. advisory role in which you know he can be the titular head of the the thing without having any real power maha Aditi and Prijesh, many thanks for getting us those inside details of how Narendra Modi's cabinet will look like.